figures. I, I start playing. To, hmm? I also tend to try to avoid the mods that have pretty high performance impacts. Yeah, good idea. Just because, I mean, there's a few on there. Like, I still have Buildcraft on the list, but that's because the most balanced like item transport system I could find really that can be intelligent is Buildcraft with logistics pipes. <laughs> a lot of the other <clears throat> ones are cheap or free, and moving items around for absolutely no effort whatsoever gets really broken in Minecraft's world really fast. Well, yeah. It, it's no fun if it's just all handed to you. I mean, sandbox is one thing, like what we're doing with the stupid zombie thing. But, yeah, if you're trying to build a, a an actual world you're going to do stuff in, yeah, you got to work for it. That's half the fun of Minecraft. It's why I'm avoiding mods like Mechanism, for instance. Mechanism, a lot of mods in Minecraft have ore doubling, right? So, like, you take an ore and you crush it into dusts, and then you get two dusts from that ore that each melt into a bar. Ore doubling. Yeah. Now, that's good because in a lot of Minecraft mods, you use a ton of materials. Just absolute uh, gobs. What would you say to something like uh, Rotary Craft or Electrocraft? I'm staying away from Rikas mods because you can't mind tweak Rikas mods. Aha. Uh -huh. You can't what? You can't... There's another mod called Mind Tweaker, and it's subsidiary Mod Tweaker that let you adjust recipes and how things interact and stuff, so that you can make all the mods play together very nicely. Well, Rika has specifically asked that her mods never be, or his mods, I don't know. Rika sounds like a female name to me, so whatever. But <laughs> they've asked that their mods never be uh, modified by an, out an outside source like that because <sighs> that it makes troubleshooting for them harder because people come to them and go, well, why doesn't this work? Well, because someone mind tweaked it in their pack. Leave me alone. <clears throat> so That's I, frustrating. I specifically avoid Rika's mods for that reason. Because I can't tweak them, you know? Is it actually a thing, like they insist it's a condition of using it that you can't do that, or is it just a preference? That almost all mods anymore come with some kind of terms of use attached to them. Most of right. them are, it's MIT license, go nuts. But a few of them have things like that attached to them. Don't mind tweak it, because I don't want to deal with the backlash from it. Yeah, I wondered why I was seeing so much strict control over the... That crap annoys me. <laughs> but, yeah. And some of them have... The, the one you see a lot is, um, you have to let me know that you're going to use it in a pack. So that I can keep an eye on where it's at and what it's doing. Right. That's the one you see a lot of. There's a few others that are floating around, but most of them are not an issue, or they're on mods that I don't care about, so... <laughs> <laughs> like, and I get that, I, especially for the larger... When people are building larger packs, that people want to know where their mod's being used, so that they can keep an eye on it and how it's being used, you know? It's their project, they want to know, you know, it's doing well, and... Yeah. So that one I at least get, and I get right because, you know, they don't want to deal with the backlash. That's fair enough, you know? Because it's not in their control. But no, that's true. But they to somehow deal with it, you know? Uh, and what, what can you do at that point, right? Like, <laughs> everyone's yelling at you, this is broken, but I didn't break it. Yeah. Oh, this looks, oh, this looks really cool. And then there's a fun thing that's emerged, which you have mixed source mods now. <laughs> Where part of it's closed source, but a big chunk of it'll be open source. People still think the special, the secret sauce is the software. Not what you do with it. Nah, nah, it's alright. If, if I, I get into... have massive respect for one of the people doing it, I would probably feel more the same way, but... The guy's good, and he does a great job with the stuff, and he's always listening, so if he wants to keep a few parts to himself, whatever. Oh, I know. I, I can't really... <laughs> I can't complain when somebody wants to keep it to themselves. I just don't have to like it. <laughs> I don't think, as cheesy as it sounds, I don't think computing technology or computer science advances as quickly when people keep, you know, hoard things all to themselves. I think things grow faster when you can actually see how somebody does something and expand on it yourself or just completely change it if it suits you. 
I'm a hippie or something. <laughs> no, I, I, I agree with you by and large, but I also get it to the other degree where well, uh, there was a big thing that tried to come back again recently where people will take a mod that someone has made, they'll make some trivial change to it, and then they'll repost it as their own and say it's so much better and basically steal 99% of what was done, right? Sure, that's copyright and, infringement. Uh, yeah, and I get that people are like, uh, you know? Well, that's... That's not fair use. That I mean, that that's actually oh shit, creeper. Um, you know, straight up plagiarism and copyright infringement. That's actionable. But if you take something and make a derivative work, and you actually make an improvement, something that you know, substantial improvement, then you know, I I I think it's okay to build to make something and release it based on someone else's work as long as you're really doing something new with it. On the plus side, the vast majority of Minecraft mods, when they die now, are open sourced by their author if they were closed sourced before. Yeah, that's good. So when someone's done with it, they're like, Well, I'm done working on this, I've had my run, I'm tired of taking care of it, it's open source, go crazy. <laughs> Case in point, Growthcraft. Yep. There. And Growthcraft's a pretty good mod. I'd like to include include Agricraft, but I can't seem to quite get it to work the way I would like it to. Because I love Agricraft's little sprinklers and the pipes and all that stuff. It's great. I really feel like that feels at home in Minecraft. You know what I mean? I don't. I've never seen it, so I feel like such a noob. Let me see if I can pull up a good picture that demonstrates what I'm talking about here. What are you doing, Rev? I'm looking at something. Oh, oh character model. <laughs> what am I equipped? <clears throat> this is um, ridiculously tiny, so I apologize for the small image, but it's the best I can find on short notice. And, and what is it? You get little water tanks and troughs. You stick little sprinklers on them, and they sprinkle crops to help them grow a little bit quicker. Oh, neat. I see, uh, Fluiducts. Can't remember what mod that's from, though. Fluiducts are thermal foundation stuff. That's it. See, and that's, I have a problem with a lot of the thermal <clears throat> foundation stuff because a lot of it is extremely cheap for what it does, or yeah, is but... free at what it does. And it's like... But you gotta remember, though, there's really not much else out there that'll do, you know, piping systems like that. That's why I opted really for good. logistics pipes, because I can crank up the power usage on those, and they become relatively fair in, in exchange. Yeah, well, I, find them use, I find them useful for something like uh, f uh, fuel lines, or, say, uh, uh, immersive... Uh, I stutter, give me a second. <laughs> There's a... I find fluid ducts useful for uh, things like fuel lines for the diesel engines from... Uh, immersive engineering. Yep, and build craft and logistics pipes can handle those just fine. Yeah, crap. So those get taken care of, and they have an energy cost attached to them. Gecko points out there's lots of server lag potential for those channels, too. I can see where that's coming from, but most of the time it's a stable system, not an oscillating system, so it's usually a non-issue, you know? Hmm. Like, 99% of the this? time it's a non-issue, so... It can be, I'll agree, that if, like, if you have sudden spikes and, uh, blood oh, and, and water available, it will cause the channels to bounce around like crazy. Yeah. That's obsidian, okay. I like how the, uh, critters will, like, when you're in creative mode... They notice you're there, and they just don't care. But they'll stop, turn, and look at you like, "Fuck, man, what? Leave me alone." Then just wander off. <sighs> okay. Well, it's getting a bit late for a Sunday, so guys, I think I'm gonna bail. But this is cool. I understand how to make that circuit now. I am happy. Yeah. Yeah, take and... care of yourself, uh, Wolfie. Yeah, you too, guys. And um. Feel free, uh, Deveus and everybody else watching, um, hop on that, that uh, forum thread and let's talk about putting a mod pack together for a, a server for this. And we will have lots of fun with it. I'll try to get it set up and I'll 
about I need a month. to know what people are people are interested in and stuff like that. And I am building towards a a specific and like fluid tech tree across everything. So okay, well, well, yeah, throw your ideas in there, guys. Let's see what we come up with. So, oh, Dave, right. uh, for me, it's easy. Hmm. Anything and anything, anything and everything that allows me to make uh, mass production viable. <laughs> I'm really into industry and automation and all that wonderful stuff. Yeah, that is kind of cool. Technology or magic. If you uh, take a look at the link I dropped in the chat, you'll see that we have wonderful things like Ancient Warfare, which allows you to do that to some degree. We have logistics pipes, which allows you to do that to a degree. Um, forestry and all of its pieces that let you do that. One more flyby. Wow. You guys have done a really good job building all this stuff. This house looks really nice. Then I'm looking uh, mods that have a bit of a steampunk flair or industrial flair. <laughs> something you know, the aesthetic. Gecko, it'll I'll probably be uh, sometime this this week. I Hopefully in the mornings I'll start getting some X3 back in the mix. Otherwise, um, I'll probably be in the mood for it this coming weekend as well. Just wasn't up for it uh, this week for some reason. But I'll try to get more X3 out there. I know uh, folks are waiting for that. But uh, anyway, um, thanks folks who joined the uh, uh, audio chat. And thanks to everybody else out there watching. I appreciate the company, as always. And uh, yeah, it's been fun. Until next time, guys, take care. See ya. Cool.